Let's now derive the freedom equation, which is the evolution equation of the universe. So the evolution of the shell, and by consequence, the evolution of the universe, is given by the time behavior of the scale factor. We can start from Hubble law and substitute the definition of the coordinate distance in terms of the scale factor. I'm labeling here what is function of the time so that it's clear that the co-moving coordinate does not depend on time. Alternatively, you can write the velocity, define it as the derivative of the distance, and substituting one equation on the other, you remove the co-moving coordinate. So that's a way to write the Hubble constant in terms only of the scale factor. Now let's consider again the energy equation, which was a mechanical energy of the shell, and substitute Hubble law in the definition of the coordinate distance. So this becomes so I have an equation relating the Hubble constant, the scale factor, and the energy. Though we still have the mass of the shell and the co-moving distance, omega. Now we can redefine the total energy to get rid of these constants. And we can write the energy in terms of the mass energy equivalence. For reasons that are gonna be clear later, we're going to redefine the energy in terms of a new constant this new constant k is a constant that we're essentially trading for omega. Later on, it's going to be clear that this k is related to the curvature. So if we rewrite the energy in terms of this constant, the right-hand side becomes minus kc squared. Finally, we substitute the Hubble constant by the scale factor, by the definition in terms of the scale factor. And we finally have a differential equation for the scale factor. So this is the Friedman equation. Solving this should give you the evolution of the scale factor.